Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to uninstall Microsoft Edge the right way. Now, the other day I made a video on showing you how to uninstall it using a script. But if you've got Microsoft Edge on your system and you want to remove it, then this video is for you. If we go into the app section in our settings pane here, you'll see that Microsoft Edge can't be uninstalled from here. It won't let you do it. And if you do want to uninstall it, there's quite a few ways of doing it. And I showed you a bunch of these before, but this way is using Revo Uninstaller. So before we go ahead and uninstall Edge, it's important that you download your browser of your choice, whether it be Google Chrome, whether it be Firefox or any of those other types of browsers, you can download them and get them installed on your system. This is important because once you remove Edge, there'll be no browser on the computer. And this could make it difficult to get another browser. So make sure you download the browser and get it installed. And that way, when you remove Edge, you'll already have a browser installed on your system. So once we get this installed, we're going to head over to Revo Uninstaller. Now, Revo Uninstaller is a program which is free to use, and it allows you to uninstall any program on your computer. And it's also going to allow you to remove all of the remnants that are left behind when we uninstall programs in the normal way, like add and remove programs. So let's go over to Revo Uninstaller's website here, and you can see it here. And all we need to do is download the free version. Now there's an installation version, and there's also a portable version. So depending on which version you want to use, whether you want the portable version or the installation version, I'm going to go for the installation version here and I'm going to download it and install it on this system. It works with all versions of Windows, as you can see listed down below. Let's go ahead and get this installed on the computer. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's just click OK here, accept their terms and conditions, and click Next. Next again. Next, and then Install. Now we can launch our program. Once the program is open, you can see we have Microsoft Edge in the list down below. We're going to highlight this one and we're going to go up to the uninstall button. Once we click on the uninstall here, let's just go ahead and click on this one. This box will open up. It will say, do you want to make a restore point before uninstalling? I'm going to allow that to happen because just in case something goes wrong, you can always revert back to that restore point when the computer was working correctly. Click OK here. Go advanced, then click scan. This is going to scan the computer for any remnants that are left behind. So let's go ahead and let this happen. And you can see there is a ton of registry keys. Go up to the top here and put the check mark in my computer, and it will check mark all of these keys here, and it will remove them from the computer. As you can see, Microsoft love to embed loads of keys and loads of folders related to their browser. Click on delete, and this will delete all of these registry keys from your computer. Next, it's gonna find leftovers of files and folders. We're gonna check mark all of these by putting a check mark and select all. And what we're gonna do is delete all of these. Now we can click delete here, and it will say, are you sure you wanna delete these? We'll say yes, and let these get deleted from the computer. So let it do its thing, it does take a bit of time. And it's gonna ask us, do we wanna restart our PC? So let's go ahead. So say delete, select the remaining files. And when we click okay, this will close off the program here. So all we need to do now is close off Revo Uninstaller and restart the PC to remove any sort of remnants that are left behind. Some updates going on, so I'm just gonna quickly restart. And once we restart, we're going to need to go into the registry and we're going to need to add a file in there to make sure Microsoft doesn't install Microsoft Edge again because we don't want Edge coming back down in one of our updates. We want to keep it off the system. So we'll let this restart the PC because Microsoft love to force you to use their software. And I think they should just add the option to allow you to uninstall their software if you don't want to use it or at least opt out of some of the features that they have that people don't use. That would make it a lot more easier than going through all this palaver just to uninstall a program that you don't want to use. Now, of course, some people will say, why are you uninstalling it? Um, 
I, I like it. Well, if you like using Microsoft Edge, then by all means, you continue to use Microsoft Edge. But if you don't use it, then what's the point of having it on your computer? Microsoft should give you the option to allow you to uninstall that software if you don't want to use it. So we're back at the desktop. And what we're going to do here is go to this PC. And we're just going to go into the C drive here. Program files x86. Go into the Microsoft folder and you'll see there's a couple of little folders that have been left behind. So I'm just going to remove these from the PC. There we go. They're all gone. And all we need to do next is I'm just going to come out of here. Go back. Just going to check here and make sure there's nothing else left inside here. And that's all gone. So let's just go ahead and check the app section to see whether there's any remnants left behind on the app section. I know there's a shortcut on the taskbar that I need to remove. You can see there's no um, edge inside here. So I'm just going to go settings here and just check the app section to make sure it's all removed. It's completely removed from here as well, as you can see. And uh, all we need to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and remove that shortcut on uh, the actual taskbar here. So let me just quickly close this off. Go down to the icon on the taskbar and we'll quickly remove that because it's only a shortcut. There we go. Unpin. And that should now all be gone. Now we need to make sure it doesn't come back. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into File Explorer, go this PC and go to the C drive here, go Windows. Inside here, we're going to come all the way down until we see uh, System Apps here. Click on System Apps. And in here, we want to look for the Microsoft Edge. You can see it here. Right click on this one and uh, you can delete it if you want. I'm just going to leave it in there and just put disabled. Just here like so. And we also got the dev version there. Just say yes to the user account control. And we have the edge dev tool client. I'm just going to right click on this one as well and put underscore disabled. And this will uh, disable those features. There we go. So they're in place there done and what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to go into the registry here and i'm going to make sure that this thing doesn't come back so let's go ahead and click on the cross here close that off going to go down to the search box type in here task scheduler and once we've done this click on that and this will open up the task scheduler now what we're doing here is just going to make sure there's no microsoft edge inside here because if there is it's going to automatically allow it to update and we don't want that to happen. So make sure you check this area. So go into task uh, scheduler library, Microsoft, and you can check inside here. There is nothing here. If you click on the task scheduler library, it will be on the right hand pane there, but there's no uh, Microsoft edge inside there. So basically that has been removed, but if it was there, you need to make sure you disable it by hitting the disable button, highlight it and then hit disable and it will disable the update feature of Microsoft Edge. Close that off. I'm just putting that in there just in case someone has still got that in their list. For pro versions, you can hit um, GP edit inside the uh, search box here and up, up, open up the group policy editor and go to administrative templates, Windows components. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go inside here and we're going to look for uh, Microsoft Edge here. So let me just quickly go in here and take a look for Microsoft Edge. There we are there. There's a big Microsoft Edge folder. Click on this one. And there's, you'll find there's a load of Microsoft Edge features that you can configure and uh, mess around with inside here. And uh, you can enable some of these features and disable some of these, depending on what you're trying to do with Microsoft Edge. Uh, if you ever want full control of Microsoft Edge and you don't want to install it, you can control a lot of it from inside here as well. But if you look inside here, uh, you'll see here there is an area called Allow Microsoft Edge to Pre-Launch at Windows Startup. And you can disable this feature uh, this is another annoyance that I just don't like, but you can basically click on this 
and inside here you'll see allow Microsoft there to pre-launch uh, at startup here. So basically all you need to do here is you can enable this feature and then you can come down to this area here and say prevent pre-launching. And what this will do is it will stop loading Microsoft Edge processes at startup and you can block all of that by using this method if you uh, don't uninstall it and you just want to block the uh, preloading um, services that are loading up for Microsoft Edge. You can block it by turning them off like this. And there's another one inside here as well, which you can configure, which is allow Microsoft Edge to start and load the start a new tab page at Windows Startup. And you can just enable this feature and just prevent it from doing any of that stuff. And this will stop all of the services running in the background. I think someone asked me about that and I wanted to add this in. This is not quite so much relevant for this video, but I wanted to add it in here so people can see it. Next, open up the registry editor and go inside the registry editor. And what we're going to do here is going to stop Microsoft Edge from uh, reinstalling itself or updating. Uh, so we're going to go to HK Local Machine Software, Microsoft. And I'm just going to quickly see if there's any sort of Microsoft Edge in this uh, Microsoft area here. And if there isn't, I'm going to add in my own. So I'm going to come down here and we're looking for Microsoft Edge here. And you can see there's one with Edge here. And if I click on this, that's okay. And what I need to do here is I'm going to need to add a new folder. So I'm going to go to Microsoft, right click on here, go new key, and then we're going to add a new key in. So it's a new folder here. So rename this. And what we're going to call this here is we're going to call this Edge Update. And then just make that so. Click on this one. And on the right hand pane, we're going to right click on here and we're going to create a new D Word 32 bit value. And inside here, we're going to give it a name. The name we're going to give it is Do Not Update to Edge with Chromium. And you just put that name inside there. And then we need to give it a value. So let's just click on the actual do not update to edge with chromium and we'll give this a value so all we need to do here now is a double click on it and give this a value of one and click okay and that's now set and we should now be okay and uh, edge should be removed and it shouldn't be updated on the system now some people have said they've updated windows and straight away edge has come back down but i'm just going to quickly show you here we're going to go into update and security and we're going to do a bunch of updates here and then we'll restart the PC. So there's already an update ready to come down. So I'm just going to quickly restart the PC and show you that Edge doesn't come down. So we'll let Windows do its updates and we'll get back to the desktop and I'll finish off all of the updates. So there's no updates left and you'll see that uh, Edge doesn't come back down and there's no problems with updates because some people have said it breaks their updates. I'm not sure what they're doing, but if you do this method, you should have no problems with Windows updates. So I'm just going to go through and update the rest of these to make sure that it's fully updated and you'll see the system will be fully updated. Edge won't be on the system and it will be completely removed from the computer. Now, again, you do have the option to leave Edge installed on the PC and just use another browser if that's what you want to do by all means do so uh, but if you do want to uninstall it for whatever reason then this is basically how you can do it i'm just going to finish these updates off and i'll show you that it's all completed there we go i've restarted the pc we have one more update there i'll get that done and then we can restart the pc and basically that will be all of the updates installed and edge will not come back down onto the system Anyway, hope this has been some sort of use to you or some sort of help. If you wanted to uninstall Edge, then basically this is the right way to go about doing it without breaking your system or causing yourself any issues. Again, this is completely reversible. If you want to reinstall Microsoft Edge, you just go to the Microsoft Edge website and download their browser and reinstall it on your PC. It's that simple and everything should work out just fine. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Special shout out goes to Celtic Lead, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, and Halbert Houston. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and uh, I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.